hey there aries welcome back i hope you guys are doing well today so let's see what's going on with my beautiful and my handsome aries okay thank you guys for your love your support your donations and your um your super thanks i'm sending all that love back to you all tenfold okay so let's see aries <laughs> Let's see, you could be dealing with another fire sign. Okay. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods, and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Aries and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Aries. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Aries. Okay. Class clown laughs through their pain, does not take things seriously, masking, finds amusement and suffering of others. Underdog. Somebody here underestimated your ass. They laughing now, but they ass gonna be crying in a minute. <laughs> like that. Somebody here is laughing. Somebody think that they got something over you. I feel like we got sheeple, follows the crowd, easily influenced, and big yikes. Major embarrassment, feeling shameful, responsibilities. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is right here, they laughing at this damn other person. I feel like there's a third party already. Somebody here laughing about the fact that they took somebody from you and boggled them down with more responsibilities and shit. You're the underdog. Somebody here thinks that because this person overlooked you or they followed behind their raggedy ass, that it's funny. Bitch, somebody's a loser with their raggedy, corny ass. <laughs> And you on to a whole, you, I know Aries, for you on to something totally new, honey. Somebody really thought that they had some, had one up on you or something, or they, like they took something from you. Y'all hoes really be <coughs> raggedy. So let's see. So we got top dog here, period. <laughs> Boss babe leveling up penthouse status. I know that's right, Aries. We got simp here, doing too much for someone, going overboard. Okay, this car flip reversed. Ripple effect, one event produces other effects. Your actions affect your future and others. So that's in a reverse. Bottom of the deck is milking it dry. Takes or uses up everything from you or situation. Mm. I don't even get that that's your energy. I feel like this could have been maybe somebody you was dealing with. And, uh, they didn't went somewhere else. <laughs> like, they got sidetracked or whatever. Somebody here could be very superficial, materialistic with all these gifts and shit on this card. Like, somebody just... Yeah, two of swords, king of swords in the reverse. And the empress and the chariot, child. Yeah, this king of swords in reverse is a fucking liar. This person has a closed heart chakra or it's like they're confused. They don't know which way to go here. They're making irrational decisions or they judged you harshly or whatever, Aries. Now your ass is going somewhere else. <laughs> Just like I said, you're now the empress. You've grown, you've matured, you've elevated. Yeah, Ten of Swords. For Gemini energy, something is coming to an abrupt end. Nine of Swords here, the Justice and the Tower. Damn. And the Hierophant. Wow. The Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Justice, the Tower, the Hierophant, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Wow, this is so beautiful. And the Nine of Pentacles. So you're going into a twin flame union or the lessons that you needed to learn in your twin flame union could be sending you, bringing you a kingdom spouse or whatever this is. But I feel like whoever this is, is karmic to you. And like, they could probably could have felt like one. If you're on a twin flame journey, I feel like you kind of, cause for me, it's the same. Like you kind of meet people that feel like a twin. They, they have, you have, you meet a lot of, um, 
people or not i'm not even gonna say a lot because you don't it's only a couple people that you really meet that you have a true 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 strong connection to but for me in my case they've been karmic <laughs> yeah ace of pentacles yeah so it's easy to kind of like get confused and sometimes i guess they fall from grace they don't make it but I feel like if you have a twin flame in this lifetime, you come into this lifetime with a fallen twin already. And that's one of them exes that, that's a narcissist or they're abusive or whatever or something. But every, every story is different, so I don't know. I can only tell you by mine, honey. But um, what's top dog here? Boss babe leveling up in house status. Yeah, the seven of wands reverse. What's top dog with the seven of wands reverse? Leo Mars. Yeah, so I feel like you're just surrendering here, Aries. You're letting shit go. Someone could have a Virgo Venus. Okay. <clears throat> you're surrendering here. I feel like you burnt out from something, child. You're just like, okay, let me just free myself because nobody got time. <laughs> nobody has the time. Yeah, this is just too much. Too much to bear. Yeah, here we go again with this damn... I feel like this is this person energy. Ten of Wands with the Four of Pentacles. This person just keeps getting stolen from. And they're weighed down with responsibilities or burdens. Like they're stressed out and shit like that. And this is what's causing a stalemate. And this person is lying about a lot of shit. So, excuse me. Okay. Or they're lying about taking from you. What's the Seven of Wands reverse? The Eight of Cups here. Yeah, and the King of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, you're walking away from somebody that's emotionally unavailable. <clears throat> Somebody's emotionally unavailable. They're very immature emotionally. This person could be mean, moody. Like, they're just depressed. Okay, and so now I feel like you see the bigger picture of a situation with the Eight of Cups. You're walking away. And then you, I feel like you don't have any more respect for this damn person either. They're very rigid. They're stubborn. They're stuck in their damn ways. They don't want to compromise. You're done with it. What's the King of Cups reverse? Yeah, Page of Swords. All they do is play mind games. What's King of Cups reverse? Page of Swords. Yeah, the Devil in the reverse. So you've taken your power back here, Aries. You've walked away from this damn player. This King of Cups could be a player. They could be cheating. They could be married and cheating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow, the sun, the ten of cups, and the two of pentacles. Wow, you're free. This is nice. The ten of cups and the in the sun. This is the ultimate freedom and happiness. Like dead ass. Some of you guys are free from like oppression. Especially if this is like a past life thing, a past life soulmate that's been oppressing you, keeping you stuck. You're free. A lot of fertility here. You guys can begin ready to start a family. But I feel like you've met a... Uh, some of you guys are meeting a divine masculine with the sun and that ten of cups. It's giving me a divine connection. This is you coming into harmony. Something is everlasting here. It's to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Just period. Okay. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all could be finding out you're pregnant. Yeah, two of cups. So congrats. But this is like ultimate happiness and fulfillment. What's the Nine of Pentacles? The Queen of Swords. What's Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords? So yeah, I feel like this is you here raising your standards. Yeah. Raising your standards, setting clear boundaries here. Being honest with yourself and others about how the fuck you feel. Okay. I just feel like if somebody's not leaving the door open for you to even communicate to their ass because they keep on playing games or whatever the fuck. You're just moving accordingly. It's like, okay, well, you don't want to talk? Shit, look, I'm moving on. <laughs> it's okay. I feel like you ain't tripping at all. You was at first, possibly. But I feel like you really had to understand who the fuck you are. Your top dog around this bitch. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody like... I feel like you really had to understand who you were. You're definitely elevating. So, the temperance here, Sagittarius. So, I'm seeing balance harmony and peace being restored into your life here <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
And this is you being really decisive, making clear decisions. Yeah, you know what you want to do, honey. What's the simp here? The star, Aquarius. What's simp with the star? The six of pentacles. Oh, shit. Nine of cups. Some of y'all could be getting ready to get spoiled, honey. Somebody here could be getting ready to spoil you. And it's not. Maybe this person, they could be Venusian, Taurus, or Libra, Libra energy. Doesn't have to be. Somebody could just be high on love here. They could be giving you, I don't know. This person going to please you, honey, possibly. But for others of you, I don't know. But the star with the six of pentacles, some of you guys are being patronized here for whatever you do in the public eye. This could be gifts, donations. Or somebody could need your help because they see that you're shiny. So it's like, yeah, well, let me have whatever, whatever. But I feel like you have learned your value. Something about your value you see value in yourself here. This is you raising your self-esteem and your confidence here. <clears throat> and you're only manifesting, your, and your only wish is to get equal give and take, reciprocity. Somebody's love language could be um, gifts, gift giving or receiving or and giving gifts. Yeah, I feel like if you've been manifesting an equal give and take partnership, I feel like that's coming in. I'm also getting you guys to be getting a new job. Okay. Yeah, what's the star? Some of y'all had to heal. Yeah, you had to heal. Yeah, three of pentacles and the queen of wands. You had to... Um, <clears throat> heal from situations where people were not giving to you equally. They, they undervalued you. Okay, what's the star? Yeah, five of swords in the reverse. What's the star five of swords reverse? And the center of pentacles, period. <clears throat> so I feel like with the five of swords in reverse, this could be you coming into an understanding about something here, Aries, about yourself. This could be self-sabotaging ways or you overthinking something or <clears throat> something like that. This is on your your bloodline here. You guys in your family, you can have a long history of just um really self-sabotaging, maybe being too controlling or <clears throat> overextending yourself, maybe. They say doing too much for someone, yeah, going overboard. So this could be this here. This could be you overextending yourself. And this could have been a repeated cycle for a minute. Yeah, what's the Ten of Pentacles? Okay, yeah, the Three of Wands reverse with the Six of Wands in the reverse. Somebody here could be trying to retaliate. I feel like somebody's embarrassed or ashamed too. But this Six of Wands in reverse is like, yeah, having a low self-esteem or it could be pride and ego too. This could also talk about um, uh, being around people with ill intentions. <laughs> So something here fell between you and somebody because somebody here chose to stay around a, bu a bunch of stupid ass hoes, a bunch of clout chasing hoes is what I'm getting. Or people that like to beg for attention and they need to be validated every time they turn around. People that are, are not comfortable with themselves. These could be people in your family or this is somebody that you had history with or had a past with and you had to learn from that person. Now I feel like your spirit team is blessing you with something with that star and the six of pentacles. Yeah, your emperor. Seven of pentacles. Four of swords in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> What's the five of swords reverse? Nine of cups. What's five of swords reverse? Nine of cups. Queen of Wands, period. The Ace of Swords. That's you, Aries. You got Pisces in your chart. You could be on the cusp.
Yeah, some of you guys can really be seeing your public eye. This is like generational. Well, it's a lot of people that do not like what you're doing. <laughs> like they don't. But this is a lot of abundance, happiness, just comfortability. I feel like you are just you are just that. Okay, you guys can be seeing nine nine nine. Definitely be going from the nine to the ten of pentacles, and you're going right to your destiny, whatever this is. You guys are destined to, to be famous or have some sort of attention. I feel like you're sexy as fuck here. So people like to people like your energy. They like the way that you look, and they probably like your your um your sex or whatever the fuck this is. <clears throat> people get jealous of you and retaliate against you or whatever because of how you look. You're very sexy with the Queen of Wands. Very fiery, you're passionate, you're bold, and people get intimidated and they like want to bring you back down a notch. Or it's like, oh, we need to humble that bitch. Bitch, you can never. <laughs> okay, and I'm speaking for my Aries placements too, bitch. You can never. Yeah, people need to learn how to let people shine and stop being jealous as fuck. Because that's what it is. Weird ass hoes. So I feel like you're getting wish fulfillment here. This is you coming to an understanding about something. If somebody's trying to retaliate, I feel like that's going to end. This is five of swords. Is you coming into some sort of peaceful resolution? This is a peaceful whatever. <laughs> like this, you ain't you you letting hoes be hoes and you moving on. <laughs> like that's just what it is. <clears throat> some of y'all also are getting ready to invent something. You're getting ready to need to have something patented. Okay, I'm seeing like somebody ship, shipping out a lot of boxes or, um, yeah, sending a lot of boxes to the UPS store or the UP, USPS mail place. You could be getting ready to um, tap into a creative gift or something that you have a talent. And this is going to bring in a lot of wealth, a lot of prosperity. But you're definitely in a position of power and authority. I feel like you're really good at something that you do too. But you do have a big idea, a good idea here. You're the sun. What else? Let me see. Yeah, somebody here really had to break you down. This King of Wands right here. <clears throat> somebody had to really break you down or something had to break you down to rebuild you. And I feel like you passed the test, just period. This is really refreshing and really good energy. I feel like you want to meet somebody also that's a leader. They look just as good as you. Somebody that's not intimidated by you here. I feel like the sex is going to be fire. Some of y'all are going to end up pregnant. Okay. This could be a pregnancy announcement and engagement announcement. Yeah. Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles, the Sun again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So let's see. What's the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, the magician manifesting the hell out of something. Some of you guys could be practitioners or you could be spiritual here, but you have all the tools and the resources that you need to manifest. Very creative. You're manifesting whatever it is that you want. Whatever it is that you're manifesting and keeping your eyes on, you're getting. Spirit is gifting you it. What's the six pentacles with the magician? Okay, four of cups. <coughs> the temper I mean the Empress and the Chariot. Wow. Some of you guys, if you're manifesting children, that's coming. You're going to have a successful pregnancy. This could be you getting ready to take off with a project, though, too. But I feel like this is you getting clarity and having a strong mental, like having a strong mind or you understanding something and you're rejecting somebody's ass because I feel like they're a user. Somebody's a user here. What's the four of cups? Or you're saying why wow, there was a missed opportunity somewhere because you're getting something much better. What's the four of cups? Maybe there's been some manifestations too that's been on hold. It's been at a stalemate. It's coming. What's the four of cups? Yeah, the ace of pentacles. What's four of cups, ace of pentacles? If somebody rejected you for money... the hermit reverse yeah virgo energy mm. so somebody here is i feel like spirit gave somebody two options 
to choose love or money. I feel like they chose money. <laughs> like they chose money or something like that. And I feel like, okay. But for some of you, <clears throat> I feel like you're realizing too how somebody just ain't doing no work. All they try to do is run away from their consequences. Yeah, the full reverse, the six of swords in the reverse. Like all somebody does is run away from the, the inner work and the, and the shit that they need to do. Child, somebody's childish. What's the what's the magician? This could be you coming out of hermit mode and going after whatever this is right here. This is something, whatever this is, that's solid. But the hangman, what's the magician with the hangman? <clears throat> the three of swords. <clears throat> Libra Saturn. So, yeah, I feel like, to be honest, you're realizing that somebody is stuck in heartbreak. Somebody needs to sacrifice a third party. They need to let a third party go, but they're stuck there. So now I feel like you're getting something new. You're coming out of hermit mode and you're rejecting their ass. And now all your manifestations are getting ready to come through. Yeah, you could be manifesting you a husband, honey. They coming. They on the way. No worries. <laughs> yeah, look at your ass back here. Eight of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. They on the way. It's cool. I feel like you learned your lessons here with this Knight of Cups in the reverse. And you're continuing to do the inner work here and striving for better. Even if you're going into a relationship, you always going to grow. So is your person. So, yeah, somebody played themselves. They fumbled like bad. They really did. It was ripple effect in the reverse. And I feel like they so lost in their own shit that they don't even give a fuck. And that's fine. Child, look at the Queen of, Queen of Cups reverse now and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, okay. Yeah. So this is what this person, um, <clears throat> the page of pentacles here, the death card and the wheel of fortune reverse, <clears throat> some sort of plan or strategy somebody had is dead or somebody had a, somebody had a plan or strategy to steal your fortune or steal your destiny, stop you from, um, being a tarot reader. You could be a reader or you could be a teacher. Okay, or uh, somebody thought, that's what I'm saying, them two hoes in the beginning or whatever that card is where we saw class clown, somebody really thought they, they did something to your destiny. They didn't do anything because this person ain't your person no way. <clears throat> These two idiots, or this could be the same hoe. And something is no longer affecting you if somebody's doing spell work on you because you're no longer tied to this whoever this karmic energy is that you thought was your person, they're not. So whatever somebody is trying to do, or whether it be magic or whatever they think that they're doing, they're only hurting themselves and this person. So, I mean, I feel like, you know, this person here really is dumb. What's the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? 202 on the clock. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Exactly. Somebody else is cursed. That's their cursed ass destiny. That ain't your shit. And you're not going to take on nobody else's mess. <laughs> or they raggedy ass baby mamas or they baby daddies period yeah this con karmic contract is over four wands in the reverse because somebody's a liar or they're choosing to stay inauthentic or whatever so or i don't know but we got virgo energy here somebody's like they're they're superficial and so is this queen of pentacles in reverse that's all somebody cares about what's queen of pentacles in reverse knight of pentacles in the reverse <clears throat> yeah the tower this person going through a damn tower that's what they get <laughs> for playing stupid ass games <clears throat> so this could be I'm getting different energy over there this could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, Scorpio that tried to block your destiny. And then they thought that shit was funny. I feel like this person, maybe these people here have been watching you go into connections where you've been treated unfair. People would uh, put you in third parties or people would be emotionally unavailable and you would overextend yourself or overdo things. I feel like somebody's been watching you. And I see that you're getting ready to go into to a union with your damn person. This is definitely a spiritual union here with the King of Pentacles and the and the uh 
the high priestess. For some of you, this is you understanding or seeing that somebody here is married already and somebody had you as a mistress and you're the damn divine feminine. Absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> like, absolutely not. But um, I feel like you guys could be meeting like a kingdom spouse because a spiritual spouse is something dark. <laughs> But I feel like you've, you've cleared your subconscious of bullshit and now you're getting somebody loyal and stable that wants to be with you. But yeah, somebody here is making promises that they can't keep. They lazy. Somebody ain't got no damn work ethic. What's the Queen of Cups reverse? The Chariot. <clears throat> What's Queen of Cups reverse with the Chariot? Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're getting some sort of victory. And everything that these people try to do to you, that, that shit is delayed. This Knight of Pentacles over here work with this practitioner. They could be with a Queen of Cups in the reverse. And they asking where I get hit with a tower. This practitioner and everything, they could be sick. <laughs> the vicious looks could be changing and everything. They look a fucking mess. <laughs> yeah, now everybody's fighting. Or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, but that shit look crazy, though. Page of Cups reverse, Seven of Cups. <clears throat> the Seven of Swords reverse. The Judgment reverse. Mm. The Sun. Everything that needs to be exposed is being exposed. All the clarity you need, uh, Aries, is what the fuck you're getting. Is what you got. <clears throat> and that's that. So these cards here, these can be a uh, past, present, or future Aries. <clears throat> My damn throat shot for acting up. deck is be careful of your business dealings for the next few weeks okay so be mindful <clears throat> or there's somebody else's ass <clears throat> this night of pentacles in reverse don't have no common sense this person could have gotten scammed too by a bunch of hoes they could have gotten scammed here trying to be superficial or smart or materialistic now they ask that also, for some of you, could be getting ready to go to jail. <laughs> or they getting ready to go to spiritual jail. So it says, your life will start to move forward in a new direction. And you will be met with the realization that you are outgrowing certain connections in your life, period. Within this year, there will be a reconciliation with someone from your past. And I feel like this is your past self that you're reconciling with this year, which is good. That means you're coming into wholeness. Or this is somebody here that's worth the reconciliation. That's it. Okay. Within this year, you will be highly recognized within your career and business endeavors. Abundance will surely follow. Someone who is destined to be in your life will soon enter if you make room by clearing out the energy of another who is no longer suited for you in the expectation that they will change. Create the change you desire, period. <clears throat> Unexpected wealth and abundance will find you before the year ends. Your beliefs may be challenged shortly as you find yourself in a period of transformation. What you believe was the correct path for you may now not be so clear. Yeah, because this definitely ain't it. Putting another's needs ahead of your own will bring about a downfall. Okay, and unexpected help will arrive from another. You will soon connect with new individuals and receive recognition for your talents and abilities. Yeah, unexpected doors will begin to open for you that are a part of your destined plan. And that's under... Within this year, there will be a reconciliation with someone from your past. So some of you guys are destined to be with somebody from your past. And I feel like it's not nobody that hurts you either. 29-29 on the timer. Balance will soon be restored as a lost love will reach out. You will be presented with an opportunity to rebuild your connection. Yeah, it says an illness is surrounding you, but the outcome will turn out for the best. <clears throat> And this is under 
Someone who is destined to be in your life will soon enter. If you make room by clearing out the energy of another who is no longer suited for you in the experience, in the expectation that they will change, create the change you desire. Yeah, I feel like that's a part of the damn illness. You holding on to this person and they're experiencing blockages. You will experience that too if you keep reconnecting with their ass. Okay, so I don't know. But it says someone will soon approach you with an apology. They can't be trusted. <laughs> a heartbreak will come to pass. Your career business path is being guided by a higher power at this time. You are being asked to have faith and to utilize your abilities as this will help your endeavors to grow and prosper. Time spent apart from a loved one will be inevitable. You may soon face difficulties that will cause an increase in anxiety for you. Seek support from helpful people at this time. You have faced many trials and tribulations. Your strength to endure will not be in vain. A fresh beginning that will lighten your load and offer endless potential will soon begin for you. And it says your personal difficulties will soon improve within an intimate relationship in your life. Yeah, so you got a lot of good, good stuff coming in, Aries. Like, this is a nice reading. I feel like you're just getting ready to be so happy. And it's going to, it's, you know, it's up and it's stuck. You're not going to be, un well, I ain't going to say that. Because every life, I mean, everybody goes through ups and downs. But I just feel like you've healed so much to the point where you just know how to handle it. You know how to transmute and keep moving. Like, you're just so unbothered. <laughs> like, I, you know. <clears throat> you're unbothered what, let me see for some of you this this person that's sick and if you reconnect with them it's going to transfer to you i feel like they're, they're either there's a demon here that this person there's an entity that's taking over this damn person or they're actually like sick because they're dealing with a hoe <laughs> like What's an illness is surrounding you, but the outcome will turn out for the best. Round table, seek advice from others. Un unsatisfied, feeling incomplete, personal anxieties, weighing options before making decisions. Then we have round table, collaboration, divine messages, open conversation, negotiations, equality, conflict resolution, and fair. Yeah, so that other side is you. Mistletoe, affection, freedom, celebration, peace, loving attitude, gratitude, healing diseases, fertility, and family. <clears throat> Somebody here was blocking your fertility. You connecting to whoever this is over here. And these hoes doing this damn spell work here has been blocking you. The other side say, let go of your inhibitions. Parasitic, yeah, no boundaries, lonely, isolation, bitterness, and depression. Exactly. Then we have dead flowers, decay, bonds are breaking, grief, too much time has passed, sadness, negative energy around you, and death. Yeah, you had to get rid of this person. This person, they're spiritually sick. And if you keep soul time with this person, you're going to be like that too. But they could be, they could be like physically sick too. But I feel like whatever happens in the spiritual happens in the physical too. Like you, you're going to feel the effects of it. It's going to affect your health. Yeah, so I just wanted to see what that was. So, oh, let me see. What's uh within this year, there will be a reconciliation with someone from your past. Snow, okay, merriment, youthfulness, romance, hibernation, deep thoughts, purity, innocence, peace and tranquility and fun. Okay, yeah, just somebody you got good memories with. You're supposed to be with them. Then we have Shale here. Immortality, inner growth, strength, protection against evils, divine messages, resilience and determination, and mindset shift. Yeah. So what's unexpected doors will begin to open for you that are part of your destined plan? Yeah, whoever that is, you're supposed to be with them. Pen. It says, be transparent and outspoken, wisdom, promotion or diploma, creative or original. Your hard work is paying off and confident. Yeah, so this could be about your work too vase loss in home or fortune loss in home fortune or finances love not being reciprocated breakup emotional baggage and miscommunication <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah and this is you putting your foot down you can have libra in your chart you're like you're not going to deal with that shit yeah be confident in the fact that whatever you left behind is what you needed to leave behind because the love wasn't reciprocated 
this is a test here. It was a test for you to like learn how to speak up for yourself or something about communication with this pen. Mm. Or there was like you had to work with somebody to um step into your your like your faded um whatever your career path is in this lifetime, your purpose. That person was just used to inspire you to, to keep moving forward, basically, is what it's giving me. That wasn't your person. <laughs> so this was your reading, Aries. I hope this reading gave you clarity. Okay, like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.